Hello everyone, I'm reporting live, hitting the streets of Lagos Church to review, of course, uh, the massacre at the cathedral uh, in the early hours of today where some hooligans are uh, alleged for the militias, of course, invaded the worshippers and uh, sent the uh, scores of the worshippers to beyond, of course, uh, and while others uh, were adopted, and the whereabouts is yet unknown. You see, these are one of the reasons why we are calling on the federal government of Nigeria to declare Nigeria a first state and uh, haven't, of course, understood that uh, the primary sense of governance has been defeated. The government could no longer protect the life and property of the supposed citizens. And uh, this killing has remained on our breath in where, of course, uh, the killer squad will always strike and retire to their safe heavens, even within the same locality, and most of which have been shielded by the instrument of the state. And uh, here with me is one of the passerby who may want to, of course, uh, express his own uh, view about the incident. How do you feel about uh, the incident uh, that occurred in the early hours of today? And uh, what should be your response to that? Good evening viewers around the world, in Nigeria, in Africa, in every continent in the world. I really want to say so suddenly that what is going on in Nigeria is very, very, very extremely dicey. Let me use the word. Permit me to use the word dicey. Because life is no longer safe except God. I beseech and I pray that God should touch the, the outgoing president, President Mano Dubuari, to please, I beg you in the name of God, to do something. I pray that God will touch you and to all the Christian and faith to watch themselves as well. This is if, if I may come in, what do you mean by life is not safe in Nigeria? What I mean by life is not safe in Nigeria because nobody is protecting except God. Because who is the, who, what, who, who is the security? Nobody is secure except God. Yes, but we understood that, of course, uh, it is the primary essence of government. Uh, government is saddled with the responsibility of protecting life and property. So what is your stake on that? How yeah. do you see the government living up to such responsibilities even at this uh, critical time? Well, the government has the right, it's been stated in the 99th Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But this government failed to, to, to dance to the tune of the Federal Character Commission and likewise as well to the Federal Republic of Nigeria Constitution. And the only thing there is that Mr. President MB, President Madhu Buhari should do the needful in this country to take action, not by saying mere words. It is a time to take a drastical action for the life of property of Nigeria and the life to be secured because enough is enough. Please, you have done your best. Leave the rest okay. to other passes. My brother, I will want to come in now. You said enough is enough, and this is not the first time, of course, such incident has been experienced within Nigerian states. We've had a series of, of course, uh, religious intolerance, and this is purely uh, unacceptable. We are, of course, uh, without any provocation, uh, innocent worshippers, we are rounded up and, of course, uh, killed at will. And uh, this is not the first time, and uh, what could be your reaction? Uh, having experienced uh, repeated uh, killings, which is uh, religious uh, related. Well, um, I will only say that, Mr. President, I use the name of God, Allah, to beg you to do the need for the right, because this is the time you take action. For you, because regardless of your, who are your people, you must put them to an action whereby they must surrender to the Nigerian federal government. You must expose your people because you've forgotten too soon. Whatever you sow, you will reap it too. 
because it is very essential. Life and property need to be need to be protected, be secured. You are only because very soon international court of justice will also after you too after leaving the government. Remember, but, you can't run away but, after it. You can't go. You can't eat the cake and uh, have it and run away. Great, with it. gentlemen. Okay. Do we have to wait while? Uh, before he leaves office, what can we do now to remedy the situation? Uh, we may not stand the chance, of course, of being alive if we should allow such to continue. So the fundamental issue I want you to stray or to speak to the world, if probably I were to be in that uh, uh, service center, uh, probably I would have been a victim as well. So it's clearly, of course, shows that whatever goes around comes around. Of course, uh, when we fail to act now, we might become the next victim. So what could be your advice or your message to those who lost the belief once? Well, thank you very much. God forbid to the three things you say if it happen here or it happen to you or happen to whatever the third one you say. God forbid, but... Uh, but to all Nigerian you need this challenge, it's time, time to be united, regardless of your status, regardless of your, of your influence, regardless of your personality, regardless of your, your change, regardless of who you are. It is enough, it's enough, it's enough, it's the redeem of our society, it's enough, it's enough. Let all the youth come out and the elders, a lot of, enough is enough of Taitu. Of all these men of God, I know them very well, PFN Akan. It's a shame and disgrace to our PFN Akan. Even Bishop, Bishop Matu, Elisan, uh, Azan, Kuka. God forbid, if you beat the wood in there, they'll be headed you because you deserve it. Because a lot of you are not doing enough. Especially at the boy, you are not doing enough because you're also part of the plan. Again, Jonathan, in the old, in those Jonathan government. It is that time that very soon they will also attack the team to get no amount of prayer and security because you deserve the, the victim. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Even redeem is even the biggest problem we are all having in the southern Nigeria. Because I want to say that it is our time. Enough is enough that we are saying tribalism, ethnicity, nepotism, whatever it is. It is time to come to stand as one as a voice, to stand for ourselves. And if God is with us, who will be against us? If we that are being against us, it's not God. No wonder the God will say, I will give your any over you, Israel. Failure to obey God, or failure to obey, or failure to unite. The world obey me to unite. The world obey me to, to be peaceful. Because we are not peaceful as our side, talkless of uniting ourselves. So I will, I will oblige, I will plead, I will, I will beg everyone in the southern Nigeria, regardless of who you are, your color, your status, your, your educational background, your family background, it is time to come together as one voice to speak, to help each other. Not now we always stand for each other, regardless of their of their of their of their, of their, of their selves or okay. of their mis- Thank you so much, I'm so I, I, In your I, final uh, parting words, okay. Could you at this time see the need to divide Nigeria, or could you also promote one Nigeria under this uh, circumstances? I will say no, and I will say yes. What do I mean by I'm not trying to be one way or? Why I say no? Because if we fail to do the right thing at this moment, Nigeria will divide. Regardless, even God will be glad. Even God refused to be glad or not, Nigeria will be glad because he, even Israel was divided until they beat them back together. So when I'm saying that, yes, they can still be united when they are one in one harmony, when they sit together, stand for each other, and fight for each other, and to be peaceful as individually, to see one of brother in love. So above all, please, let's start, it is that time to take responsibility, not by mere words, not by saying, because I'm rich, I'm better than this. No, it is time to become one to fight, to defend, and to call God, that God, we are ready to stand for ourselves, to love each other, and to obey you as well. And together, we will overcome all the enemies in the North Anna and the Asada. God bless you. Thank you. May I know your name once again? My name is Emmanuel. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Manuel. You've heard it all from, of course, one of the passerbys, and uh, a youth, of course, uh, of the Nigerian states, 
you had this position that uh, he is not in any way supporting the disintegration of the Nigerian state, but uh, he's hopeful that uh, uh, probably sometime, someday, Nigeria may find their feet or the trust their path to the place of uh, unity and uh, nation building. But uh, that, of course, uh, uh, should be subject to discussions and uh, rationality. We cannot continue to blame the government uh, when we fail to take responsibility. Have we seen that, of course, uh, the Nigerian state has failed in its primary objective of protecting life and property? It now behoves some individual and churches, of course, uh, to act in self-defense. We can no longer watch our people being killed at will, being massacred, uh, and uh, the perpetrators uh, of course, uh, scoring for safety. Nowhere to be found, uh, neither to be brought to book to face the cost of the law. It is very pathetic and unfortunate. How long shall we continue to say, may their irreparable soul rest in peace? Amen. It is time to act. It is time to take the responsibility of protecting our loved ones, our relatives, our homes. Now that is very clear that, of course, we are being rounded up and uh, surrounded by strangers who are bent at killing, destroying, and taking over our ancestral home. But that is not what God, of course, uh, the responsibility we must shoulder upon ourselves because God has done his best and uh, God also is in agreement with the people. All things are possible with God and to them that believe. It is possible for us to live and to, of course, uh, fulfill our destinies. And it's also possible for we to die when we fail to take actions to defend ourselves. This is very pertinent at this moment because uh, we cannot continue to lose our loved ones under the sacrifice of protecting or building one Nigeria. If the government fails to do the needful, then it behoves of individuals and good for people to defend their ancestral home and their people. Well, I leave that to you, and I want to see your own reaction and comments uh, in response to this uh, mother at the cathedral. It is no longer, of course, uh, uh, an article, but it has come to play out in real life in our time. The city of time says now, the center could no longer hold, as rightly said by the late sage, Chino Achebe. And God, the gods are not to be blamed. Why? Because we have every opportunity to act within the ambit of law as recognized by the United Nations Charter of Fundamental Human Rights, the right to self-defense. Every church service without security personnel should not be encouraged to continue to hold because uh, it is more or less jeopardizing and exposing the life of the innocent worshippers to unnecessary killings and this must be vehemently resisted. Remember, please, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification button. Stay blessed as we meet you some other time. Bye.